Welcome to the channel and thank you for clicking on the video. Today we are playing Deep Rock Survivor and checking out a brand new character yet to be seen here on the channel. The Engineer. Take a look. Isn't he radiant? Oh, what are you still doing here? You should be watching the footage. Well, hey, while I still have you, if you find yourself enjoying the content as you continue to watch, then I'd greatly appreciate you stroking that like button. Don't worry, it likes it. Every subscriber and commenter as well mean a lot to me. I'm still a very small channel, so I guarantee that I appreciate each and every one of you. So feel free to comment down below and join the Discord. On to the video. Welcome back to GD Store. Return to content here on the channel where we're returning to Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, where we are going to be checking out the very final character that we have yet to see here on the channel. That's right, the Engineer. And on top of that, we're going to be returning to the very first classic Crystalline Caverns, the very first map that we ever did our dives on. Now, the Engineer, the smartest of the lot, the Engineer survives by using his gadgets, turrets, drones, and lots of plasma to make quick work of any hostiles. So it has the ability to drop LMG turrets and shoot nearby enemies, but I have to stand still to deploy the turrets. You cannot deploy the turrets while you're moving around. I have to stop moving, wait for them to deploy, and then they can start doing their damage and take a moment to kind of target onto the enemy. So I have to be kind of concise with them, make sure I'm, you know, kind of planning ahead of time and make sure I'm trying to get them out in like, I don't know, good areas, see choke points, I'm assuming. But let's go ahead and see exactly what it can do to bring to power to the team. Oh, right on top of a whole bunch of gold, exactly what we want. So already have a whole bunch of resources sitting there waiting for us, which is amazing. So this gold is going to help us with upgrades here later on and a little bit of early XP gain. So immediately we have fire rate and damage rate and XP gain. Now I kind of want to take the XP gain as a early choice just for a, you know, base multiplier to everything that we get from here on out, especially with some gold sitting here on the ground. We already didn't get some early XP and another level up, beautiful. And oh, look at that, an epic. Let you imagine your weapon is now a lot prettier. Increase the weapon level by three. So that means it doesn't do anything, but it does get me closer to morphing it. So that's honestly not too bad. Now we could take a 25% damage increase, which is very tempting, but to get that close to morphine already, I'm going to go ahead and have to take it. it. does look a lot prettier now by three levels, I suppose, but it doesn't really do anything other than that. <laughs> so whatever. But now that means that we're already only two levels away from being able to morph it immediately and see what it has that can really like maybe change up the weapon. Level up again. And wow, you know, you know, I can I can morph it right now and it's basically gotten no buffs to it. I can make it look prettier by level two, make it morph, even though I've gotten no damage upgrades or fire rate upgrades or anything on top of that. You know what? Why not? Why not? The, the, the morphed turret that has no buffs. <laughs> um, turrets explode when they're removed. I mean, that seems kind of like happenstance. I don't know. They'll have to. I don't know how big the explosion is or it adds one extra charge. I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and let's say I'll do the extra charge for the simple fact of being able to lay down more turrets. Because now if we go ahead and take a look at these turrets, we haven't really laid down too many. As you can see, they kind of get laid down every once in a while as they reload there in my very bottom left with my kind of reload rate. Now I can go ahead and just build myself a little fortress or just turrets and let them like lay off. I can just stand right here, hands off the keyboard. Uh, how's your day going? You know, have a good, uh, have a good day. You know, make sure to comment down below if you're enjoying the content. And if you are enjoying the content, like the video, you know, I am still a small channel. So every single bit of appreciation does help. So I, I always appreciate everything you can do if you share it around. But uh, yeah, you know, having a swell day. It's a nice Sunday afternoon, kind of recording a bit. I just got done recording some Into the Breach. But that's probably gonna be the next few episodes. So this one's probably gonna be coming up before that. Simple for the fact of because I have been releasing some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor content lately. So, you know, I may as well just go ahead and stay on the train and just, you know, release more of it all at the same time. All right, let's go ahead and collect up this XP. <laughs> get, a, get, a, get a level up right here and another new weapon. Ooh, so I can drop electrical turrets that arc beams between them or like defensive drones that damage nearby enemies. Now, I think that seems kind of nice, like defensive drones that just stay nearby me and just hurt nearby enemies. Or I can get a shotgun. I mean, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm an engineer. I feel like I get bonuses for just having, you know, gadgets in general and more electrical engineer, you know, electrical damage. Sure, why not? Get something that does damage around me and immediately I get an upgrade for it. I will do more damage, I suppose. What are these drones? Oh, okay. So I have two like little bluish circling drones all the way around me that is just doing like electrical damage within that circle that they're kind of doing that area. Not too bad. 
then they disappear then it's the reload and then they come right back out the re i mean the reload rate ain't that bad either so honestly i don't really have to worry about that too much Ooh, a lot of them exploding see if i can get this to pop off get all the xp in the ground plus 10 percent lifetime increased expected lifetime of all lasting weapons that's not too bad because that means right now i believe at the rate that i reload is the same rate that i lose turrets so if i last a little bit longer i can get more turrets down at the same time start stacking them a little bit get another level up i will take a i guess we'll get a reload rate as well because that means that you know faster reload rate they will be able to spawn out faster with that lifetime as well take a five percent damage increase to everything i think i'll take ten percent mining speed just so i can go ahead and get through some of this terrain a little bit faster we do still need a few Apocalypse Blooms. There are still resources sitting around like this Ender Pearl sitting right in front of us. We need to keep an eye out for Apocalypse Blooms. They're kind of like white looking flowers as well as this Nitra sitting around in this rock. We'll use the Nitra and the Gold to get upgrades later on when we do the Escape Pod after taking out the final boss of this floor. And speaking of which, there's an Apocalypse Bloom, resources, and some gold all in the same little, little grouping. Beautiful kill the elite Mactra so he is coming for us I will take a damage increase for the turrets because we have yet to really get any upgrades for them that mining speed really coming in handy <laughs> going right through the rock drops in the turrets I have to stop moving so they go ahead and deploy nice they're doing some damage to them yeah not necessarily a whole lot of damage again because I haven't really upgraded them at all the defensive drones are doing their job lay down some turrets yep they're reloading as fast as they can keep on doing more damage to them um i'm gonna go ahead and try to dodge and zigzag as much as i can they're not very fast yeah there we go get the little mini boss taken out get the main boss taken out level up and onto the pod we go i will take a reload rate for the simple fact of trying to get more of them out at the same time explode for me please beautiful level up critical chance um i don't know where we can see our stats here if i can go ahead and escape i think yeah critical chance we have an eight percent here on the left hand side critical chance eight percent so if we go ahead and get a six percent fourteen percent chance that's not too bad although i feel like we should be leveling up our weapons more so than our base stat form so i will go ahead and take a reload rate on the defensive drones just so they come out a little bit faster not all that important with those there is a lot of xp sitting up there unfortunately and we do have the supply pods sitting over here unfortunately as well but i think we will manage we will manage to survive let's get on this drone before okay explode please thank you take all those free xp sit on the ground a little bit and get on the pod on to the next layer we go i should have been able to keep a better eye out for that pot there on the ground for the artifact so let's go ahead and use what we have we have 22 nitra and 71 gold we can use 18 to get a reload rate or 14 for reload rate on the turrets. I will get a reload rate on the turrets. I think it's a little bit better. And a status effect damage. It's just going to be more electrical damage. And mining speed. 29, 29. This is essentially 60. I think we'll do that. Status effect for more electrical damage and more mining speed. So we just mine a little bit faster. And that will be enough to continue on to the next layer. Land right on top of some more resources. Or maybe that was health. I think that may have been health. All right, well, now we have some free health sitting in the middle of the map if we ever need some. We need some of these bolo caps is our secondary objective. Now, secondary objective isn't necessarily all that important. If you can find them while you are, like, kind of scouting around the terrain, it is very beneficial to you. Oh, now look at that. We have, like, what was that, five turrets out at the same time? One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost six at one time not too bad not too bad okay i need to start kind of getting some of these resources though with this mining speed yeah what's the point of having a fast mining speed if i can't get all these resources while i'm going ahead and scouting around beautiful get this bolo cap keep on moving around swarm incoming lay down some turrets also gives me like a barrier behind me that's taking out the enemies while i go ahead and move forward i will get plus 10 percent damage to all my weapons oh god okay well that is a just a giant swarm of them literally coming through it did say swarm detected but my god that is just they're digging through the rock just trying to come for me my god stay back stay back <laughs> exploding i'll mine through the rock he does manage to get a hit off on me get out of here yeah i think i should be able to get that back with some health regeneration should be fine oh i just took another hit from something laid out some turrets so they can go ahead and defend me from behind my back beautiful yeah now they, they can take care of all that for me there should be some resources around here. Now, the supply pod did drop down somewhere up here in the north side, I believe. 
right around yeah here it is we need to go ahead and clear out all this rock in this giant circle area terrain so we can go ahead and call it down because i guess it needs this terrain to drop for some reason so it can land on top of you know giant bugs but it can't land with a couple of rocks near this outer rim even though it is that big <laughs> you know only that big drops from the sky uh find xp when mining rock explode in a ring a fire when i'm damaged or i increase my max hp by two when i collect red sugar i will go ahead and increase my max hp by two when i collect red sugar so every time i heal basically i just get a little bit more max hp so honestly we have some health right here if i just go ahead and collect some of this health and purposely take some hits now my max health is at 162 geez that rose up pretty fast <laughs> I guess I took a lot of hits consecutively there. My God. Okay, well, there should be some more health around here. I'm not so scared now about getting hits because I kind of want to take hits, but I don't want to take that many hits. My God, I'm getting hit a lot. Okay, I need to move up. There is just a lot of them chasing me. I need to take out the swarm a little bit. Lay down some turrets. Get this giant squad going. Because I imagine if, this, if these guys all blow up at the same time. Ow, ow, ow. That is a lot of damage. If they all blow up at the same time then we can get it like a cascading effect going what do we have here shoots electrical bullets with electrocute nearby enemies a shotgun or a flamethrower turret Ooh, okay i kind of want something that shoots nearby enemies for me simply because i don't really have anything that i can take out things while i'm just like mining around i need to wait for the drones or the turrets so i think the volti smg would be a nice choice plus it's electrical damage and i have status effect increase earlier that I, that we got so for more electrical damage that that's a good boon right there on top of that so i'm gonna go ahead and take the smg i think it's a good choice for us and ooh, yeah that fires really fast too the reload rate yeah the reload rate's not half bad oh and look this is just taking out this giant squad like it's nothing yeah come on come on dig through them the turrets are just doing all the damage get these guys to explode on top of it get that squad blowing up for me the elite is already coming Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, there is the elite right there. I need to get some of this health, get some of my max HP increase at the same time. We have not managed to really mine out too many resources, though, which is a little upsetting. I need to move, need to move. <laughs> need to move all of a sudden. Get this bolo cap at the same time. I don't want to kill the elite just yet. If I can help it, I would like to mine out a few more resources and also get all of this XP sitting on the ground. It's just free levels sitting here for us. Um, I can imagine my weapon is prettier by three levels. Why not? We need to get this to level 12 to unlock more, like, more morphine abilities for his weapon. Level up, we will get more status effect damage. That's just going to be more damage for the drones. And we got a magnet to bring all the XP to us. Beautiful. We will take, uh, I, I, I say let's get luck. So we have a chance for more rares. And speak of it, we have a legendary. Get an extra drone. Increase weapon level by one. My god. Okay, well... Yeah, that is a good luck choice. Then we will take a plus 12% critical chance. More XP. No, nope, that is basically everything. But there is enough stuff sitting around. We do take out the boss. That's going to be a good level up right there. Beautiful. We will take a, I suppose, reload speed for the SMG. Because it already has a really fast fire rate. Try to mine through all this. Take a little bit of damage. My god. Hope they can find some health around here. Get a little bit more max HP increase too. And I think there is some right here in the center from earlier beautiful or that was nitra no it, yeah it must have been nitra it was just something else that also looks red <laughs> try to get some of the xp sitting around on the ground just enough just enough come on give me a little bit a little bit no not quite enough to level up oh yes it is yes it is and we get a legendary fast hands plus 18 percent increased reload rate for everything my god yes <laughs> i'm glad we chose that luck oh my god we're seeing to be getting a lot of base increases to my character but we don't seem to be getting a lot of like necessarily good you know weapon upgrades besides making them just look prettier i suppose and we can get a 12 percent xp gain right there they should be beautiful we can get 25 percent increased damage we'll take that for the little smg since that is my kind of close smg damage modifier thing an xp gain we still have multiple floors to go i say that's worth it for 40 gold that will be all of our gold for this, but we can only really afford one thing anyway. Status effect would be nice for the SMG and drones, which means just more damage for them in general. But XP gain overall, I mean, that's just me more leveling up quicker. So that's going to just be good for us. Status effects, all that stuff. Beautiful. Continue along. We land on more resources, some free gold right there. 
Yeah, I got that side already drilled all the way out. Get this more gold sitting here on the side and some ender pearls sitting on the side as well. Mining speed really coming in handy. Dropping down the drones have like five or six out at a time, I believe. Six out for a short time and then, you know, one of them disappear on us. Get this nitro sitting over on this side. Can't leave behind any of these free resources. We need six blooms again. Now, I really do hope that in the future, this is early access as a game. In case you've forgotten, this is a early access game. So hopefully in the future, they kind of include more secondary objectives. Maybe like more like variety of them. Because for most part, I've seen it either collect more kite. You have to either collect more kite. You have to collect a blooms, or you have to collect the... Um, the uh bolo cats so it's usually those primary three we are suddenly very surrounded uh the turrets are doing well to hold their ground explode for me please beautiful take out that mini boss why don't you i'm gonna go ahead and mine my way through this terrain maybe they'll break this gold for me yes they are collect some of it as it goes around yeah <laughs> get all that gold get that xp as well i will take a reload rate don't really need the fire rate for this smg you know the faster it can just keep on throwing out damage with the reload rate the better so they're going to be coming on through this terrain. So I may as well start digging out this backside because I think they can kind of dig out this front side for me if they get close enough. And they're going to explode. Beautiful. Just like that. Get that giant grouping going. What is intervening? Probably this crystal off to the side. Yes, it is. And I think they should drop directly down right on top of them. Beautiful. <laughs> exactly what we needed. Oh, if we get another upgrade for our max HP increasing by two or getting health. That means it's just going to increase by four every single time we get HP. I mean, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's just going to be a lot of HP then near the end. We will increase the damage by 10%. A little bit more damage for our drones, especially now that we have three of them. May as well up their damage as much as we can. We do get a new weapon, and it's going to be our last weapon. Do we want a shotgun, a flamethrower turret, or an electrical turret? Or we can reroll. I am tempted to get the flamethrower turret simply because just more gadgets because we also already do enough electrical damage as is we already have the drones we already have the smg that both do electrical we should get some fire that can do some dps like on the units yeah i mean either that or shotgun but shotgun seems kind of useless and it only fires in front of me we already have our smg for that i say we can go for the flame turret i say let's get the flame turret beautiful we have even more dps being thrown down on the ground even more just absolute damage being dished out i'm gonna go ahead and keep on moving through though and plus that just also means just like more artifacts or like more engineer like just more turrets down on the ground right that means that we can have like seven or eight of these things down on the ground all at the same time i'm gonna get this nitro out at the same time they are holding their ground steadily i mean they, they are kind of losing their ground a little bit though too but uh you know holding their ground and losing the ground at the same time look at this yeah <laughs> just take them all out hold hold Hold! No, <laughs> leave me alone. The mini boss is getting through. Okay, well, we can do this. We can do this. Take out all the terrain so we have a clear line of sight. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to move through. Move through. Move through. <laughs> Instinctually, accidentally pressing buttons. My God, I am taking damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and increase the damage on the flame turret, please. The leveling up will help heal me up, though, which is nice. I will take the damage for the drones get all this xp sitting on the ground please i will take the fire rate i suppose then i will take ooh i mean mining speed I, I i guess i mean it's all right it's not exactly the choices that i'm hoping to see i will take again not exactly the choices i'm hoping to see but i will take this reload rate so we can morph the smg now give everything else 25 percent damage or get 25 fire rate and reload rate i mean i'd rather take the fire rate and reload rate everything else does not need 25 percent more damage right now beautiful plus especially since my smg is kind of my close and my close-up savior in general of just trying to take out enemies that are getting too close to me as i kind of move around this terrain gather up all this xp beautiful <laughs> there's a lot going on take 25 percent damage for the flame turret please Stand still for a second just so I can lay down more of these constructs. That's the word I was looking for in my head. Constructs. There we go. Get this XP. I did not manage to get, ooh, 25% mining speed. Yes. I, you see a legendary, you gotta take it. Even though I would like to take more upgrades for the turrets and everything else. I mean, look, if 25% mining speed, that's already like double of what we've already gotten so far. 15% damage. We'll take it. 
the 5% damage there I saw was tempting for a base increase to everything, but we've got to start upgrading our, our primary like weapons instead of our character. Another pocket bloom, but that is not going to be enough for a secondary. Just take out some of these units for a couple of free XP units as I move around and drop on down. Beautiful. What do we have here? 30% status effect damage. Ooh, I mean, that's... I mean, we have fire and electrical. That is all status effect damage right there. So that is a beautiful upgrade for us. We will take reload speed for the turret as well. So we can get more of them down. Then we can take a... I kind of want to take an armor. So just so we can just like take a little bit less damage. We do get hit a lot. You know, not going to lie. I'm not very good at dodging in this game. So we will continue long because we don't have enough to re-roll now. Which means that we will have even more nitro for upgrades next time. And look at this, we have health sitting right here next to us. And oh my god, that mining speed. Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> and my max HP is now 186. Gathering up this stuff is at 198. So basically healing up every time it increases by like 18, it looked like. My mining speed is ridiculous. If only I had some upgrades, like from some, some artifacts that like, you know, gave me like every time I mined out some rocks, I found a chance of getting gold. Because my god, that is... I'm mining as fast as the driller pretty much at this point. You know, the driller from, I think that was last episode, the driller with a flamethrower and all that. It, it was all right. He's an all right character, but, um, you know, each of them kind of have their nuances, but I really like the engineer and his turrets. The turrets seem to be really kind of like nuanced, but they are very powerful and they kind of really stack up with all these enemies. My God, <laughs> there's just so much going on. There are just so many enemies, so many turrets just being launched around. Yes. Hold your ground, level up. Beautiful. I will take a damage and a will morph up these things. More beams. Hang on. Plus one beams. What does that even mean for a flamethrower turret? Does that just mean it fires one out the opposite side as well? I think I would rather have extra charges. I mean, more beams is just more damage, right? But more charges. I mean, I'll do beams out of curiosity. Yeah. Now, what does that mean when you say beams? So go ahead and lay these down. Okay, so now they just have a, they have a wider attack angle and they do like maybe double damage. I mean, if they do like double the damage because they have two beams of attack, then that is beautiful. I'm losing ground. Hold my ground. Just keep on firing off. Yeah, they're all exploding around me. Look at all this. Oh my God. This is going to be a just, this can be like what, four or five levels. I will take a reload speed. Get them to blow up right there in front of me. Oh, that is sexy. Take a look at all that. I will take... I mean, I we don't really do any projectile. We do do some projectile damage, but I will take a fire rate. So we can go ahead and morph this. Turrets mine nearby walls or change the damage type to plasma. Ooh, what is plasma going to do? I don't think I've ever seen a plasma damage type. Sure. Why not? I mean, that might be more status effect damage, right? So instead of just being a regular kinetic, they might do status effect plasma. We will take, I suppose, five damage to all my weapons in general. Just a 5% damage increase base. Take out more of these guys with more of my constructs. Another level up. Man, that was a lot. I will take a reload rate to everything 9%. Okay, I can just hold my ground right here. We need more apocalypse blooms. Now, I'd like to find more gold. But my god, look at what is coming in. I don't think I have an opportunity to go mine for it. So I'm just going to just kind of like stagger my walking speed. So I can just go ahead and try to lay down turrets as I kind of move around away from the enemy. Come on, take them out, take them out. I'm losing my ground. <laughs> Being pushed into the rock. Lay down more constructs. Yes. Yes, this is beautiful. All this free XP that's going to be sitting on the ground. I'm an absolute unit just holding my ground against the cliffside like a Spartan. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and collect up some of this. Might take a few hits, though. 10% uh, damage to all my weapons. Sure, why not? 10% base to everything. Uh, miss makes me think it's prettier by three. That's not half bad. I mean, we can take a reload speed for that, but I'm going to go ahead and imagine my thing is prettier for the flame turks. I would like to morph it again and see what morph it can do. I mean, morph is always going to be usually pretty powerful. Oh, my God. Oh my god, okay, um, um, <laughs> my god, I was hoping that something was gonna happen, because I was not gonna find a way out of that. I will take status effect damage. I need more upgrades for the weapons, please, for the weapons themselves. Not all this status effect based character upgrades. Uh, fire rate, yes. I will take more fire rate. More XP all on the ground, which does heal me up a little bit. I will take a base damage for our regular turrets. 
or I guess they're not so regular now with the plasma. Kill the elite slasher. And I will take, do I want move speed? Not really. I'll take a reload rate for the SMG. We do have the tentacles starting to spawn around now. I should have been escaping out of this sooner, but they kind of like spawn a little bit less when the elite is out on the map, I think. So it kind of like give you room to battle him more or less. But so now he's already dead. Okay. Well, my turrets are pretty powerful, I suppose. <laughs> he's, he is already dead. That is, um, that is a little unexpected. I was not thinking me trying to run away. My turrets are just going to kill him right behind me. That is... That's amazing, I suppose. Uh, I will get some of this nitrous sitting on the ground. Maybe we can get some good upgrades next, you know, for this time. Not quite enough Apaka Blooms for the secondary. Not even worth collecting that one. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I couldn't get the magnet. It popped out just as I was walking onto the... No, <laughs> that magnet would have brought all the XP on the map to me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Damn it, that is... That is, oh, that is, that is frustrating at what, at what could have been. All right. Well, we have a lot of Nitra, so we can go ahead and get some upgrades here. I don't want to imagine stuff being prettier. I will take a 50% damage increase and I will use my, no, because if I do that, I won't have enough for rerolls and I want to use my Nitra. So let's do a reroll here. I will take a fire rate increase. I will take a damage increase for that. And I will take a reload rate increase for that. Beautiful. And I only have 28 gold, just one short of any of these other ones, unfortunately. So I will continue along. Is this the final wave? I think this is the final wave. This is the final floor. Ooh, DigiDs, we are here. We are on the final floor. I feel like we did this actually pretty fast. I feel like this is like much faster like than normal. And my God, my turrets are just going to work. Holy crap, they are just destroying. I will take some of that max HP increase, please. And thank you. Keep on moving around. Take, stay away from this little mini boss that has spawned out of the cocoon. Come on, take him out, take him out, take him out. Give me that free level up. Come on, thank you. What do we have as a choice? I will see here. We will take, I don't want to imagine it's prettier, but I, you know, I kind of do. I kind of do, but no, I will take a 10% damage increase because if one more upgrade to this will give me future unlocks in the future. I just need one more upgrade then to the drones. And I'm sure we'll find the XP along the way battling all these guys around this map. We do see another cocoon. I'm gonna go ahead and move over here and then lay down all of my turrets. Yep, just like that. And then they just go to town. They just destroy everything in the vicinity. I wanna take a little bit of damage here. Try to, yep, there we go. So we can go actually collect the XP, or not the XP, the health sitting on the ground. So I can just go ahead and increase my max HP overall. Now, is that a smart move? Because I might need that max HP later on. I don't know. I might need the HP when I'm running around for my life. Who knows? But, uh, you know, that's that's for future me to worry about. Current me thinks it's a good idea to get more max HP. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and, and what I, I think that current me is, is, is correct. So that's all I have to say about that. We're going to go ahead and take out this last cocoon. Actually, a little bit early. This is the third cocoon already. I'm not entirely certain. I've yet to find out if it is confirmed or not that if you destroy the cocoons early, and then go to the boss if he's gonna be like weaker than normal because he hasn't had enough time to like sit there and like, I don't know, gestate or whatever. So I think right after we take out or right after we get the relic choice, which should be dropping down here any second, there it is, it's dropped down off to our right looking on the mini map there at the very top left. A level up, I will take a reload speed right there. Beautiful, a lot of enemies standing right here next to me. Anything blocking your path? A couple of rocks, not a lot. Yep, there we go. Now lay down my turrets, hold my ground. Get all the XP that's sitting down on the ground through that narrow point. What is our artifact choice? A small chance to find gold when mining rock. Increase your damage by 1% for every five gold you have. Now, considering the fact that we are on the very final floor, that is probably a good one to choose considering the fact we have 73 gold. So that's like what? So, I mean, five times 10 is 50 so 70 that's four that's that's 14 so what 14 percent increase in my damage for everything and that's you know until i find like more gold so for every five gold that's, that's not too bad that's pretty good that's a, that's a base increase to like basically everything that i have um i am a little bit kind of cornered at the moment this is a giant swarm but i think if we take out the swarm we might have an opportunity to move on through as soon as these projectiles stop shooting at me, please try to get these guys around. Like the pod dropped down kind of in a bad position. 
is blocking the, the turret shots a little bit. I'm going to start collecting up some of this XP sitting around. May as well kind of draw them away too. I bet I can do it. The wave is almost over. Just like that. Is it enough? It's just barely enough. There we go. And I will take the last upgrade to our little drones. The 15% reload speed. Beautiful. So now it'll have the ability to morph in the future if we ever take a look at this. And hey, if you guys do have new video ideas, you know, maybe if you want to see a run where I do nothing but turrets, you know, maybe, you know, flame turrets, you know, these regular turrets, or maybe there are other turrets. I think there's like an acid turret, you know, we take a look at other turrets and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, if you have other ideas, if you want to see more videos on this game in general, maybe, you know, on the other harder difficulties, then feel free to comment down below on what you guys have been liking about these series. But, you know, I am also about to start, I think, Into the Breach as a series as well. So feel free to go check out those videos when they release later on this week. So feel free to let me know how you know down in the comments down below. It really is the best feedback that I can think of that really lets me know and how, what you guys are thinking. Because that's going to be the only method that, you know, I'll be able to hear your thoughts. And I'm getting surrounded and I'm going to let you know my thoughts. I am a little muffed at the moment. But if I just stand right in the middle of my turrets, I will be safe. I'm safe inside my mind. I'm safe inside my mind. Just keep on just zigzagging around. Just barely staying inside the damage zone of the turrets. Oh, God. The Dreadnought is out. <laughs> the Dreadnought is out. He, oh, he is on my left-hand side of the screen. <laughs> he is right there on the left-hand side of my screen. Okay. He's going to jump and move out of the way. Beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and run for my life. If you don't mind, please do not mind. The yellow trail. Move out of the way. Dodge that. Just barely lay out some turrets, please. Yeah, there we go. Do some damage to him. I need to dodge his jump again. He's about to do it. Come on, do it. Do it. Get your lunge out. Yeah, there's your stupid little lunge. Lay out some more turrets for you. Why don't I? Yeah, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Now, that's a lot of damage. Look at him. My God, that health bar is going down fast. Real fast. Lay out more turrets. All oh, that DPS is stacking up on him. I think that plasma is a good modifier. That's doing some maximum damage. They're doing like 80 on that guy. And there we go. We have finally done it, DigiDs. I think out of the four episodes or five episodes that we have done on this game so far, we have not managed to take out the boss. But there we have it. We have finally managed to take out the final wave boss, that giant crab spider monster man thing. Explosions, explosions, fireworks, explosions, exciting, explosions, excitement. Ow, I'm getting on the pod now. <laughs> fireworks for our victory. Get to the drop pod, and now instead of going down, we going up on a Sunday. There we go. Overclocks unlocked for our drones. H Volt Thunderbolt. New weapon unlocked. A deep core PGL. Is that just fancy wording for a grenade launcher? Because that kind of looked like a grenade launcher, not gonna lie. This game still has a lot of weapons, still has a lot of modes, still has a lot of stuff to unlock and different kind of quirks to it. So again, if you do want to see more on it, feel free to let me know down below. But what was that? noise my god i don't know what that was in the background but <laughs> well, it looks like our lmg platform did the most damage at 876,000. but the flame tour even though we got that a little bit later wasn't too far behind at level 11 at 620,000. on top of that the smg the thunderbird surprisingly did not do a whole lot but it also did not have the ability to morph itself or get you know better upgrades per se either so hey it's still very effective but hey that were those are our stats but thank you digities I'm still not really sure how to do any of these outros, and that is going to be a golden rule for as long as I make content. But there's one thing I can always guarantee you, that I'll be able to see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and bye bye